Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day and getting some crafting done. Um, making sure that you are creating every day just helps our sanity in weird times like this, yes? Here's my little mixed media art journal. I got the idea from Cat Hand. Check it out. She's got a lot of great, small, very doable mixed media ideas. So this is my take on the mixed media journal, and I'm going to work on this page with only things on my desks. Ah, love you. So let's get going. I'm going to pull you back. I've got my glue sticks and my Fabri-Tac and this little container of just stuff I've been throwing in this while I'm doing projects. So I'm going to use that. I have my phone book handy. I usually just use that for glue, a piece of paper, just this little pad. So these things are just hanging around next to me, Bed Bath & Beyond, um, uh, sales thing and scissors. So I'm going to try to see what I can come up with all this. Um, I've got words here that might work. So we'll see about that. And I'm going to get going on here. And oh my goodness, look at this. It's time to clean up free, free time, free time. It's free time. That's my words. Those are my words. No doubt about it. And these windows are always so cool. And I was doing some um, mailing, mailer journals. So I pulled that off. That was a mistake. So let's make that an opportunity, shall we? And all these other things that are coming through. And this was an envelope I made a long time ago that I did wrongly. Upside down. Whoops. No biggie. Some other things in here. Yeah. Oh, and these orange things are just fun. They were off of a peach seltzer water box. I don't know who doesn't love orange. I th orange is hard to work with sometimes. So honestly, so not in mixed media, mixed media, orange is great, especially if you're going for anything colorful. So that, you know, that's what I was going for. This is free play. I didn't have any plan in, in inside of my brain. It's just, let's see what I got on my desk. Let's pull this out. I want to just have fun. I don't want to think too much. I don't want to have um, an agenda that has to be this first, second, third, fourth. I just, you know, what's, what's making my eyes jump for joy here. What's giving my brain something fun to look at. And that's where I was going with today. It just, I didn't want to have to think. And, um, I was so glad I had some, had a chunk of time I can do this with too. So I know it does take time away from your busy, busy day to do these things but wouldn't you rather you know some guys have this I'd rather be fishing we need t-shirts I'd rather be crafting so yeah I just happen to have some time today so glad about that and this mailer is going to be fun I like that I don't I like the the idea of using those windows in my crafting and I this is a great opportunity to do that so I like it a lot so far it's making me happy bringing me joy um really didn't need to cut that so precisely because then I get my scissors out and then I just clean off the edges anyway and this whole project did take me about a half an hour a little more than that so this is sped up double time so you can kind of get the idea of how long it took and I you'll see in a little bit that I cut out a few things and just kind of have you transist so I um, got this set up I think of exactly what I'm going to do with this window the cellophane window and this I love the blues and the orange. I it just this is making my heart sing, and uh, I hope whatever you're crafting on, you're that's what's going on with you too. Because we don't want to craft if it's not going to be enjoyable or a chore. Let's just have fun, right? Because it's free time, and I'll probably do something on the edges of that too. All right, I'm getting out my phone book. I, I have never looked in my phone book for anything to craft with. I just used it to, you know, glue things on top of. Look at this checkered stuff. How fun. I never thought that, I never knew that was in there. And it's all in the restaurant's stuff, you know. So perfect. This works good. Add a little more pattern, a little more visual interest. Like I know what I'm talking about. See, I transisted and have you watched me cutting those things out of the pages look through some more to see if I could find anything else boom flowers who doesn't love flower boom a lot of these have flowers a lot of my art things I have to be careful not to just go to flowers all the time right just to make it I need to be doing things interestingly more branch out and here's some printouts from something else I was working on 
So yeah, pulling out these, uh, cutting out these flowers and going to see how this is going to work. Got a little bird, bird flowers is hardly anything about nature and who, and music. I love to have music on a lot of things. Um, not everything has music in it, but when I'm making my junk journals, I'll find I, I want music in them, some sort of notes. Um, yeah, so why not add them to my mixed media stuff too, right? Sure, why not? So this white is kind of plain. What am I going to do with this white? What do I do? I want to give it color, um, although the white does make it stand out and gives the eye a place to rest. But you know what? Nope, I want to do something else. Got up my watercolors, and I'm just going to see if this is going to go on this and stay on this because it um, the cellophane is on most of it. And uh, I got out my water and just see what happens, just to see what happens. And it's pretty. I like it. And I, I started to dry it with my blow, my dryer and then I stopped because that's going to crinkle the cellophane. I made that mistake once upon a time and I luckily soon enough, I remembered, don't do that. Stop. Don't, don't, don't. So just patted it dry upside down. And it's pretty cool. Still like it. I like the rough about it, uh, randomness about it. Um, yeah, that's what in the color red is nice and bright. So I'm going to just finger tear all this around that and um, just to give it a little bit of a roughness. And I'm going to cut around the bird. It'll be hard, a little hard to tear around him. He's just too close to the edge. So, and that happens to be the Wyoming state bird and the Wyoming state flower. And I edged, I edged this, but you really can't see it that much. It didn't add a whole lot to it. If I had used black, maybe it would have been a little bit better of a distinction for the edges. But I just didn't. I, I admit I, I did what I wanted to do. And I grabbed the colors. I was in a color it mode today. So when I feel in the colors, let's do it. There are times for black and white. There are. And I do love a black and white page. Black, white with one other accent color, whether that's that's red or purple, blue, green. I'm not great, a great big fan of orange and black. And I need to get over that because I am an Oregon Duck fan. And our one of the rivals is the Oregon Beavers and they're orange and black. So not a fan of orange and black. Hmm. I'll try to get over that. It's nothing personal. It's just something I've been feeding my brain for a bunch of years. I need to get over it. And also orange and black makes me think of Halloween. So I'm not a fan of Halloween much either. It's too much work. So anyway, glue down those words a little more firmly. Get those in place. Get the, the music straight up and down. It's crooked. So I move it to get it straight. Dun, dun, dun even know what song that was I think it was an old hymn so okay gonna put down the cardboard from the packaging the orange and white with tacky with the uh, um Fabri-Tac just because it's so thick it's just a cardboard let's really make that secure and it won't get in the way of other things that way too and this works really well on that so going also for the Fabri-Tac for that Make sure those music notes, I don't know, in my free time, I like to sing sometimes. I like to listen to music almost all the time. So that kind of goes with my free time. I'm trimming up all these edges here and I'll skip you. Th no, I don't skip you through that. You get to watch me trim up edges. Lucky you. The glue does uh, move the paint down a little bit and I like that effect too. So another happy little thing that uh, I didn't expect. And that's what's the fun about stuff like this is you just get to work and be what the thing, the word right now is intuitive. So whatever you find in front of you or that makes you happy while you're crafting, you know, life is hard right now. So let's just do what's, what's enjoyable, right? And the intuitive mind will tell you what's going on. And we, it's good to pay attention to that because we, a lot of times it's, you know, it's also our conscience. What's going to look good here? I mean, our conscience can say um, these colors don't go together or these colors do go together. Or your conscience can even tell you, do it anyway for this kind of a thing. Make sure that you're within all the lines of the law. <laughs> 
<laughs> but when you're doing stuff like this, there's no rules. So that's, that's what's great about it. It's your freedom to do what you need to do and uh, express yourself. Hopefully it's in a positive way. Hopefully. For me, this is just, this is fun and positive. And it's my free time and I'm going to use it. So I clip off the edges. Clip off the edges and, and uh, tack them down. And I'm really, I'm joyful about how this is start, how this is turning out. And I could almost quit right there and call it done and good. But no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pull out those Posca pens because I haven't done those in a while. Let's just work them in here somehow. Um, yeah, do a little bordering here and there. And just some accents decoratively with those. Those Posca pens are kind of fun. They, one thing about them though is, whoops, so oh, sorry. They have, um, you know, when I, when I moved this in, it messed up my lighting a little bit. I'm going to try to remember that for my future filming. So the Posca pens, the white isn't as bright as I wish it was. Um, they are paint pens. And uh, so far, they've lasted a long time. I've had them for quite a while. One of these are also something that Cat Hand uses a lot of the time. So you can check out her videos, how she uses them. Very, um, very easy to watch videos. She's got some good stuff. Okay. Oh, I need to tack, 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 <laughs> tack that little piece down. So far, so good. Putting in a few more things here. Adding a little more color because there's not enough, apparently. So it, I'm loving it. Da, 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 da. I'm loving it. I'm going to outline some of these flowers. Just kind of plain and almost almost subdued. And this is where you get a Sharpie out. And, this is, and Sharpies are great for accenting lots of different things. And the wavy line, black and white wavy lines going with the orange wavy lines. <laughs> Just who knew? Micron's always a good tool to have around for small small line making and I'm just going to outline a bunch of this and skip around, skip forward to the almost towards the end it does a little bit of accenting of those lines and definition so that it's a little more um, easy to see and then uh, you know honestly it looks a little messy but yeah whatever it's still fun it's my it's my joy it's my play so it's gonna be whatever I want to do <laughs> and I'm gonna outline Yep, got to outline stuff. And uh, one thing these Posca pens work on is this cellophane. That's a nice little tidbit to know. Adding a few more lines to those uh, arcs, those partial arcs, and then some polka dots because I don't know why. Whoops, there you go. And those do wipe off. They do wipe off your hands. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Nope, not with the black, not with the black. Trying some blue, just some little dots. You know, dots are so easy for any kind of an art project, even when you're doing vintage stuff. Little dots just to accent small spaces, small things, it's nice. It just draws your eye to it. So that's all I got for you today. I hope you're crafting. I hope you're loving the people around you and making the world a better place. Um, I'm appreciative of you watching. Love you guys. And as always, God bless and take care. <laughs>